What is up? It's Hobbyist First, and let's take a look at this Orc Commando Kill Team. So a client reached out to me on Instagram after seeing my orcs on there and asked me if I could produce a kill team that looked like a picture that he sent me of a Call of Duty operatives team and he asked for as many masked heads as possible and um, you know trying to match that color scheme so the color scheme was just dark brown pants uh, two different grays were used for the shirts there was like a bluish gray and then uh, a, a dark gray and yeah so I, uh, I, I went about building the kit and built as many of the specialists as possible except I didn't build the comms boy because one I thought from the picture in the box the comms boy looked kind of lame and I also realized that if my client ever wanted to field the unit of commandos as a unit of five he, d he wouldn't have had five regular armed guys like all the specialists you have to have a unit of ten to get them in there so I built the comms boy as a regular boy and then he said well could you make me a comms boy so I ended up uh, kit bashing a comms boy out of some of the extra parts that were there and a black reach uh, slugger boy let me just show you some of these some of these guys here's the knob you can see that that dark gray shirt uh, that I talked about and the backpacks were all done in uh, Steel Legion drab and see my um, orc flesh uh, recipe has some purple in it for the, cr the cracks uh, my masks are all black uh, did a couple skull masks and most of my lenses are in bright green I use some dark green for some of the gear just for contrast so it wasn't just plain metal see that guy there burn a boy work on the flame there burn a boy was one of a couple that were shirtless it was quite a bit of skin to do you see my orc skin recipe there a couple different greens and then I paint some edge highlights on the muscles and then I do a uh, purple in the crevices there is a uh, this is uh, alien purple by army painter I use that with some uh, lamia medium as my purple in between the muscles I'll show you this guy rackarth flesh for the the barrels so any of the explosive things like rockets and um, tank busted bombs were done with rackarth flesh here's that comms boy that i put together so it's a slugger boy uh, I took the hand from Leftover Bits, it's an Imperial Guard, Vox, this is the head from the comms boy, and then I made a shock pistol from, uh, like, shock prod from the Runt Herder, and a regular pistol. I was able to cut that cable so that it fit in there, and then this little pack came from Flames of War uh, bits that I had left over. It's pretty simple. A simple kit bash. Slash a boy. You can see those gray shirts. Uh, also look at the straps. See, I'm using a kind of a stippling edge highlight. I do that on my clothing so that it looks weathered. See the webbing on the back holding a bullet. Uh, I do not use contrast paints as a rule, except for on these models, I use the uh, I use white on any of the strapping around the grips, on like blades and stick bombs and stuff, and then I use the skeleton horde contrast over that, and that's a couple of them got highlights of flayed one flesh. There's a boy with a mask. He's got blue lenses on his mask. Dynamite. On some of these guys, this dude's got some cups hanging off. Here's a boy with the big gun. 
green lenses on his mask. So he's one of a few that had a Space Wolf, or the Fang it's called now, uh, blue-gray used for their shirts because they were the... Uh, in the pictures, it looked like all the gunner specialists had the blue-gray shirts. Here's another boy. This guy... This was... Uh, could have been built as the comms boy. He's got this little, little light thing hanging off. I painted that white on the inside and used the pink contrast paint to give that a, a bright a bright glow but everything else is, is over black uh, undercoat there's the breacher boy he's wearing a red helmet that's got some weathering on it see the rack hearth flesh was used on that tank buster bomb on the top and there's a little chipping with lead belcher that contrast paint over white for the straps or the grip on the sledgehammer and the stick bomb. You see I stippled some of that dark green on there but left the silver edges there so it looked like it was chipped. So in some cases I will paint the color and then chip it after. Once in a while I paint the entire piece of equipment in metallic and then I go back in and I stipple some of that um, what would have been the equipment's original color. This guy is another shirtless guy. He's got some gashes on his belly. Got a bright glowing lens for his like, scuba apparatus. And he's got this cool like, spring-loaded harpoon gun. He's got some bombs, rope, teeth hanging off of there. This rocket boy is wearing one of those gray-blue shirts. Uh, rack heart flesh was the base color on the rockets. You can see I painted them uh, with a chunky streak highlight so that some of the edges looked distressed. Yellow cables for some contrast on the minis. Let's show you that backpack with uh, the edge highlighting on it. Edge highlighting on the the green packs and all the straps too. I got this DACA boy. Again, a shooter, so he got a bluish shirt, a bluish coat. This pack, edge highlighting everywhere. When it comes to the bomb squig, when I was assembling, I had trouble getting the getting the the He's got like a pack of grenades in his mouth. I couldn't get him to fit in there. Then I went back and I looked at the picture and I went, eh. I didn't love the look of it anyway, so I I omitted that and just painted the inside of his mouth dark red and washed in there. On the subject of wash, all these guys get a base coat of their colors and then an overall wash of Agrax, and then I go back and I bring the I bring the colors back up. People do that. Here's a distraction grot, little scuba gear, swim fins, a backpack. So there's a full unit of commandos for my client. I'm about to pack them and ship them today. But uh, hopefully, this inspired you to get your orc commando box painted up or your kill team of orc commandos painted up. Um, there's a lot of detail on these models, and I was hesitant to uh, get this kit for myself because I felt like it was going to take forever, but uh, it took me about a week and a half to get uh, to get everybody painted up to this standard. But thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I appreciate a subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, and uh, comment. Um, love to chat with you on there. You can also follow my work on Instagram, and uh, I'm on TikTok now as well. All right, take care.